I wanted to come on here and make a video that a lot of people have been asking me to make because I, in what I do, I've also been helping others learn about the capabilities of AI. I have been doing a lot behind the scenes and I, you know, I haven't been really recording any of it. So I just want to start here by first showing you how to create a GPT in ChatGPT4. So you will need the premium version for this. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably already know the benefits of having this premium version, whether you're a student, an entrepreneur, an artist, or if you just are utilizing it for your day-to-day -day, nine to five. Whatever the case is, the capabilities of this program it's beyond what we can truly fathom at this point, and it's only going to improve and get more efficient as we begin to interact with it and as we begin to incorporate it into our daily lives. So I, for the purpose of this video, am going to create a bot that helps me create my full YouTube SEO suite, essentially. So this is going to help me with a YouTube title, maybe even conceptualizing a YouTube video. It's also going to provide me with a YouTube video description. And it's also going to provide me with relevant hashtags according to the SEO metrics that are relevant for YouTube ranking. You can literally build a bot to do anything. So I recommend that you take some time to really understand the use cases that would be beneficial to you. But I'm going to show you just how easy it is. And again, I mentioned you have to have the premium version of ChatGPT. So I'm going to go into, I'm logged into my account. I'm going to go to my GPTs. And I encourage you to take a look around and see some other GPTs there that are available and already made just so you can have an idea of what you can create for yourself and for others. This is very similar to the Apple store back in, I want to say maybe 2007 when the iPhone was really starting to pop off and we started to see all of these apps, Candy Crush, um, Subway Surfer, and so many other viral apps that lasted for a very long time and then some that have more productive usages have been a part of our daily lives up until this point. So think of it as the Apple store back then. This is what the GPT store is going to become. So if you are someone who hops on this now and you're able to create a bot that is useful to many people, eventually you will have created some sort of revenue stream for yourself and maybe even an entire company. Who knows? The possibilities are truly endless. So I have my GPT bot creator open. I'm going to open one more. So here I have a new chat open. And again, make sure that you're using GPT-4 to receive the updated version. The free version is works just fine. It's just that with the paid version, you get the ability to create images, to create documents. It has a faster computing capability. You're also accessing more of the entire web versus just what GPT 3.5 has. I think it has up to about 2022 at this point. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case with GPT 4. You're getting a more updated database, which is the current or at, as current as possible World Wide Web. So here with creating GPTs, the first thing you want to do is create a sequence. So with creating a GPT, there are basically three basic steps and I'm going to use ChatGPT to do each one of the steps so you don't even have to worry about it. So I'm going to prompt and if you know anything about prompt engineering, you know that this is the most crucial part of interacting with AI is knowing how to prompt a prompt into the software. So this has a lot to do with syntax. If you are a familiar with grammar lessons back in the day, but basically you want to be very precise and use proper grammar so that the 
chat bot knows exactly what it is that you want. And this is actually such a huge, this is actually going to be such a huge thing in the AI world in the next coming months and even years is finding someone who is really, really good at prompt engineering. No longer will we need software engineers who just know how to code. The real value will come out of how well do you know how to prompt an AI bot? So let's get into step number one, which is creating a prompt sequence. And like I said, I'm going to use ChatGPT to do all of that for us. So we don't have to worry about doing this. If you have a specific process that you already have implemented in your business, then that's perfect. And you just take those sequence, those steps, the sequence, and you'll complete the rest of the steps with it. So I'm going to start off by saying, hello, I would like to create a written sequence for my YouTube channel, a written sequence of instructions on how to create a YouTube title, description, and provide relevant keywords based on the description given. Let's see what it does here. Um, so it's going to give me a sequence. All right. So I am not going to spend too much time reviewing this, but the idea is that you are able to prompt something so that it can create a written sequence similar to this for you. And then the next thing, step number two, is going to be to converting these the sequence into GPT instructions, basically using the bot to prompt itself. So let's do that. GPT instructions so that it can instructions so that it can so that it's clearly understood by by chat GPT four. And this takes a lot of practice. So again, when you're building out your bot, you want to make sure that you are reiterating if you're not getting the responses that you want. So this is called human feedback and it's necessary in order for the bot to really understand what it is that you want. Okay, so let's see what this does, but this was step two and I'm gonna tweak this just a little bit because we won't be uploading a video. However, you could upload a video with GPT-4 and then have it go through all of these steps. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. And we're going to go back over to our GPT bot here. So I'm just going to call it YouTube Helper. And you want to make sure that you're on the Configure tab because this is very important because it allows more customization with the bot versus just creating. It's a little um, less customizable. <laughs> so I like to use config Configure. So those instructions, I'm just going to paste them here. But as I mentioned, instead of it analyzing video content, which is an amazing feature, because as you can see here, you can upload attachments. You could literally upload your YouTube video fully edited and upload it into the bot, and it will come out with all of this for you. So let me just review the instructions really quickly and make sure that it's aligned with what I want to use in this example. So analyze the video content thoroughly to understand its core message themes and highlights. So instead of this, I'm going to say, ask the user what the core message of their video and use this, this to complete these, the following steps, the steps, mm, the steps that follow. Now, mind you, when I'm creating bots, there is definitely a lot more thought that goes into this, but this method that I'm showing you here by using the bot to create your sequence and then using the bot to also create the instructions that 
are readable by the bot is a to create this with the least amount of resistance. So number one, ask the user what the core message of their video is and use this to complete the steps that follow. And then the next we have create a YouTube video title, ensuring clarity and conciseness to accurately convey the video's content, incorporating relevant keywords to potential viewers. Okay, do, 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 write a detailed video description. All right, perfect. So a conversation starter because the idea is that this bot will be public to others. And so you can also build bots that are specific are super important, especially as you begin to scale and bring on more clientele or bring on more team members. Hopefully you're using some form of AI, specifically these chatbots to help alleviate a lot of the tasks that you have to do in your business that may be taking up a lot of time or maybe a little costly to you in your business. So let's go back. Tell me about your video. Okay. Also, one thing I didn't mention here is that you have the ability, like I mentioned, if you are using this for your own personal use, you can upload knowledge bases in the form of PDFs and files, Excel sheets, etc., to build out a bot that, for example, you know, you can have a bot that says, given this client, this list of clients, and you can upload the database regularly, or you can have like, you know, one database, something as simple as that. And it can be as complex as given this list of clientele, tell me who has spent the most with the company so that we can send them a thank you letter or thank you gift or whatever the case is, just a few examples. And those are very, you know, nice to haves. However, you can utilize this in a way that will immensely help your business. All right, so let's implement the bot. Um, I'm gonna test it out before, and I usually test it out before I publish it, but let's go ahead, YouTube helper. Oh, let me go back and really quickly, and I'm gonna say, write a brief description for this bot. So literally you're using the bots to do everything for you. Oh, for the, for this bot created above. So this is an example of being super specific, but let, let me read this a little further. Its capabilities extend to analyzing, offer guidance on specific tasks, such as optimizing YouTube. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I want to get a little more specific. Okay, this is a little more like it. It's a little verbatious, but I'm just going to take the top few sentences and you can tweak the prompts like I mentioned um, and make it exactly how you want. So we're going to put that description here. All right, perfect. Um, let's make, let's try it out for this video that I'm actually making here. So my video is about teaching entrepreneurs how they can create chat gpt bots to help them with efficient help them create more efficiency mm -hmm. i'll go with that um and then i'll i'll add the video is very user very beginner friendly okay let's see what it does i love it this is the first go around and it's not bad and the great thing is is that if you're watching this i'm going to use this exact um output here and it even gave me timestamps which is really cool but essentially, I will be able to upload this video again if I were to go back and change this first step to upload this video, you know, using this video, create all of this. This is just one use case. And so here I have an entire YouTube video SEO build out. 
and just think about what you could do with something like this in your own business if you're not already on YouTube or if you have other avenues or social media platforms that this could be beneficial for. Building a bot is going to be one of the best ways to save yourself a lot of time and to increase the beneficial outputs, making it so that you can attract more clientele making it so that you can scale your business and then also making it so that you have time and freedom to spend with your family and doing the things that you love. So this looks great to me. I am going to create this bot and I'm going to publish it to the GPT store. I will add a, an image. Let's do that first. Let's add an image and I'm going to use Dolly to add an image because why would I make one when it can do it for me? And let's see what it comes up with. And while that's loading, I want to say the last step, I don't know if I mentioned this, is to test and deploy. So we just did that here. We deployed the, the bot and we tested it out. And so what this does is you can find that sometimes there are certain bugs in this in once you deploy and you can go back to the instructions and change it in real time. Another thing is that what I like to do personally is after each step, I like to say, please ask if this is okay before moving on to the next step. Because with this specific example, it kind of just went through all of the steps in one go, which it did an amazing job for the first time around. So I'm not too concerned with that. But again, if you are building a bot specific to your business, be sure to do the deployment and testing process part of this process you know the possibilities are literally endless so if there's something you're not aware of how to do and you you know it's possible i recommend that you check out on youtube different um, creators who have also gone through these bot creations and as always, if you have any questions specific to, you know, your bot, or if you would like to walk through something of your own, feel free to click the link down below and schedule some time with me. And I will be more than happy to help walk you through the creation of this bot. So now let's create and I'm going to publish to GPT store and I'm going to put it in the productivity and I'm going to share it. So now this is public to everyone who oh okay so i'm really happy that this happened um this is usually typical when dealing with certain copyright information but all you have to do is submit an appeal and then notate that this bot does not infringe on any copyright terms of service please review and approve. So you want to, so you'll have to wait a little bit after you've submitted your appeal. If you got this message, I find this only happens when I'm dealing with anything like YouTube or Instagram related. However, it doesn't always happen. If it does, you can just um, submit kind of what I did and in your email in a few hours, you'll receive a note saying that the appeal has been lifted. And I'm going to show you last but not least, what my other GPTs look like, just so that you can see that I have already created a YouTube bot playing around with it. But so far I've had 40 chats um, and these are not all from me. So these are actually people that are using the bot. Um, I'm still in the tweaking phases because every time I use it, I find a way that I can improve it, which is part of the feedback that I was talking about. But essentially I you know, I, I created an automated YouTube channel bot. So this goes through the whole ideation process, giving you topics, allowing you to select from it, um, and so much more all the way down to specific video title description and keywords. I even have it to where it can build out a thumbnail for you if you'd like, but given that Dolly has limited capabilities at this point, <laughs> I wouldn't rely heavily on the thumbnail portion of this bot, but if you would like to check it out, the link is also down in the description below. Just play around with it, see how you like it. Um, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in.